So, hello, um, welcome to another little episode of the uh, Nemo pl on Nemo Plays. This evening I'm going to play a bit of Star Citizen. I'm going to do some tours around some of the different ships in Star Citizen. Uh, I'll start with the Aegis Gladius, and then I'll maybe look at some of the other other ships that are there as well. So, I'm going to Arena Commander, go into the, you know, in the free flight mode, and there we go, I'll pull in an Aegis Gladius. I'll fire that up. Um, yeah, so yesterday, uh, Cloud Imperium Games, the company behind Star Citizen, start, uh, started a sale for a new sort of stealth bomber ship called the Aegis. Uh, oh, I can't even remember what the. Uh, the Aegis something. Um, which is going to be a sort of stealth bomber ship. And. I decided that I was going to shuffle around a couple of ships I had access to, so I decided to convert my uh, Vanguard into this new bomber ship because I didn't, you know wasn't really enjoying that Vanguard ship when I was when I was playing with it. That was one of the ones I was in last night that I ended up getting blown up quite quickly in. So yeah, let's go ahead and we'll just have a look. Oops, that wasn't so good. Uh, right, so let's have a look outside the ship here. We'll see a little bit of what it looks like. So yeah, we've got, you can see here, okay, maybe not the best of light and settings. There we go, so let's turn around a bit. Um, you can see we've got a little single-seater fighter craft. Um, again, let's flip over and get some light on the underside. Let's get some missiles under its wings. It kind of almost looks like a, a you know, kind of... A, a jet at the moment. So I've got a bunch of nice big missiles under the wings, so some nice big ones there, and some sort of laser turrets, or laser guns rather, on each of the, the two wings, and a huge big Gatlin gun uh, underneath the nose. And what's this? Okay, for some reason the camera is trying to clip through the ship there as I'm spinning around it. But there we go. So what I'll do is I'm gonna go ahead and see inside, you know, it's definitely a fighter ship, it doesn't look all fancy and comfortable as you would expect this or a civilian type ship to look. But there we go. So yeah comfort was definitely not the, one of the primary concerns of the manufacturers. So I'll tell you what that's Okay, I'm not going into the free look mode. There we go. You see, there we go. Put my landing gears down. Okay, something went <laughs> a bit wrong with that animation. Oops. Okay, I think that's maybe something I'll need to report on the bug page there. That yeah, the doors are opening and closing before the landing gears actually pass through. Okay, so. Let's go ahead and just land this thing then. And there we go. So now this is landed. Landing complete. I'll hop out. Launch complete. Oh. Okay, apparently I managed to launch part way through. Climbing out. But we also can see there it's got that massive big ball turret on the front, uh, these nice landing gears, and if you know those bay doors would open and close properly, that would look like quite a fancy little uh, landing mechanism. So underneath here, there we go, we've got a few little kind of flare or chaff launchers. And countermeasure launchers to try and get break missile locks. Uh, little winglets with a rather small little laser rifle. Uh, a nice big dangerous looking missile, and two yeah two slightly smaller ones. And again, we get the same on the other side as well. So that's that there. Uh, 
again. You know, it looks like quite a nice, quite a nice ship. What I'll maybe do is I hop back in it. Just show the little kind of entrance animation, which apparently is a little broken. Okay. That's kind of disappointing that that's that's gone a bit wrong like that. Uh, See. So yeah, um, trying to do a little bit of flying, trying to do some kind of close in flying around these asteroids here, just to kind of see how well it can handle. And you can hear the engine in the background there, which I think sounds really quite impressive. So there's quite a lot of drift there in that little manoeuvre as I was spinning around, I kind of kept drifting down. Let's try and see if we can't fly around this thing. Okay, so there we go, it's got a high top speed of 660 metres a second when you've got the afterburners going. Proximity alert overhead. Proximity alert port. Proximity alert head. Whoops, that wasn't so good yet. Yeah, that definitely had a little bit of a scrape along the asteroid there. Proximity alert overhead. I think that's partly because I ended up flying a little bit too close, and partly because I'm yeah, I don't quite know the exact dimensions of the ship here. But again, you can see it's definitely a fighter because we've got you know huge glass canopy all around to let you kind of see your targets. Proximity alert head. It actually handles Proximity quite nicely. Alert. Proximity alert. Yeah. Proximity alert. Deck. Proximity oh, 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 alert. Let's try not to hit that thing. There we go. Okay, there we go, I'm at 660 metres a second now, and I've got that afterburner running. Proximity alert overhead. Proximity alert deck. Proximity alert head. Yeah, it's definitely feeling like quite a nice. Has a little ship when I'm not going to take you know, a ridiculous speed inside it. It's kind of quite responsive to the controls, and yeah, that's far I haven't quite managed to make myself pass out from pulling ridiculous maneuvers. Okay, so yeah, I think what I'll do, I'll just kind of stop the ship here, hop out. And we're just gonna see the look of it from from space here. So okay, yeah, it probably wasn't the wisest move to <laughs> park it underneath the asteroid there because you just can't see a thing. On top of it. Yeah, definitely seems like a very, very nice ship indeed. If I do what I'm going to do, actually, let's go ahead, check the options. Because you'll notice that in the canopy that opens up, there's a, um, there was a sort of strange set of lines around it. So let's see if we can't find. Okay, fair enough, half my controls appear to be missing from there then. Um, so there is an ejector seat in it. What I can't quite remember is what the key combination is to eject. I know that Alt Backspace is my self destruct mo uh, mode, which isn't so great if I want to try and eject. But let's see, it's Alt J. Oops. No. Proximity alert. Oops. No. Proximity alert. Head. Proximity alert overhead. So yeah, when I was hitting back, uh, control backspace there, see if that did it, but 
Yeah, it apparently didn't because all that happened was. Self destruct initiated. Nope, cancel it. There we go. Aborted. Hmm. Okay, well, either way, there's an objective seat that's built into this, and this kind of uh, line that's going around it, that's a kind of detonation charge that would blow out the canopy. So the ejector seat here would uh, fly up and out it. But hey. Anyway, so what we'll do is I'm going to go ahead and drop back to the main menu and we'll try and see how we get on with a little pirate swarm using the, the gladius there. So again, go for a single player and I'll stay on broken moon. Pirate swarm, not land swarm, pirate swarm and the gladius. Launch game. Nice clear skies. Swarm initiated. Warning, there are multiple hostiles inbound. Contact. There we go. Proximity alert. Whoops. Proximity alert overhead. Proximity alert. Someone else has taken shots, but we don't like that at all. Where's that camera from? It's coming from behind. So against an Avenger, uh, not Avenger, sorry, an Aurora, this sheet. Oops, that wasn't me. Uh, this ship should be quite effective because again, the Aurora is a basic little kind of starter ship. Whereas this is a uh, an old or a sort of slightly older military vessel. Uh, and apparently we'll get it there we go. And again, one of the things I like about the ships is the noises you can hear there. So you heard the engines as I was flying about and try to stick close in to the asteroids. I should probably be more careful with the projectile ammunition here because I don't quite see. I'll have to look and see what my ammo count's like for it. That's much speed. I wing men flew right through my line of fire and hit him a little bit. <laughs> okay, I'm losing patience. That's just get a little myself up in fire. Job done. Zero hostile contacts remain. Moment. Little explosions, and someone else wants to have a go at me with that. 
machine gun. Uh, machine gun that. Oh, there we go, so that's me at him. Ammo there on the chain gun. Oh, there's one there. Chain gun. I'm focusing more on getting these. Getting the ammo back. Where'd you go? Ah, there we go, I've got 850 bullets left, so that's fine. And my repeater is at okay, my energy weapons are. It's going to take a little while to recharge, so let's go ahead and stick to the machine gun thing for now. He's flying a similar ship to me, he's flying a sort of fancy pirate uh, version of it. There we go, I'm just taking a bit of a hit. Oh, there we go. Then. 
get ourselves fixed up a bit. So I'm out for that there. Doing well enough on there, let's go to power. And let's give my engines a bit more. Eh, not my engines, my weapons. That hopefully help charge a bit. Very careful of flying through that beam there. It's definitely not something I want to do. Where is he?
Oh, well, that was unfortunate. <laughs> So we've taken the wings off one of them at least. Let's try and get get the rest of them. as though they've now changed it so that when you respawn you don't respawn with a full um, ammo and missile ra uh, rack like you used to before. seem to be able to start getting a lot of when he's flying right under the ground. Next target.
Okay, let's go and get the snake out of then. Otherwise, let's get the stuff here first. It's fine, it's like an M15. One of the sort of racer interceptor type ships. Just that he's flying straight towards me. Again and lose myself. Getting silly. I figure if I break off and then attempt to re engage,
Okay, I'm just circles this. This is just not the way to do anything. I'm like a hundred meters away. That's not good to Ridiculous. <laughs> there are multiple hostiles inbound. Okay, okay, so clearly all these pilots are even worse than me.
missile. <sighs> she can really have done without. Fuck. Get! one of my wings and then the rest of the ship. Stand by for reintegration. Then I went. So yeah, it was definitely not as good as I managed last night in the uh, in the Super Hornet. But still, I do I do quite enjoy that ship. It's yeah, a different kind of feel to it. But there we go. So thanks for watching that little um, video there of the Gladius. Um, not not I the Gladius. So yeah, we'll get another video later, uh, perhaps with either the Gladiator, which is a bomber ship. Or maybe a, a retaliator, which is a larger uh, bomber that's I think I've done a tour of before, I guess. I think that was actually one of the most popular videos on my old channel before I brought it to a new home. But hey, uh, anyway, thank you very much for watching there. If you've got any other requests or anything like that from any future videos, please do like, subscribe and throw up a, throw up a comment. Right, thank you very much and goodbye.